Solve for the variable. Write your answer in the graph. Interval and set builder notation. Okay, so to solve an inequality, for the most part, again, it's just like if it were an equation where whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, except for when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you change the sign of the inequality. So for the first one, working outside in, we're going to add 7 to both sides. Doing so, we get 2x is less than or equal to 16. And then to finish solving for x, we're going to divide by 2. Since 2 is positive, we do not need to switch the sign of the inequality. Then we get x is less than or equal to 8. So set builder, we just throw the braces x such that x is less than or equal to 8. There's your set builder. Uh, graph, I'm going out of order here, but that's okay. Here's 8 on the number line. Since it says less than or equal to 8, we want to the left. Since there's an equal sign on the inequality, we can put a bracket here, or you can draw a closed dot. Either one is fine. And now looking at now looking at the inequality, I'm sorry, the graph notation, here, this goes all the way to the left forever, so negative infinity. Remember, infinity always gets parentheses. And how far right does it go? It goes up to 8, inclusive. Part B, we have a variable on both sides. We like to see the variable on the left, number on the right. So let's do this all in one step. To get the variable on the left, we would need to subtract 8x from both sides. To get the constant on the right, we'll have to subtract 4 from both sides. So on the left, the 4 is cancel. 3x minus 5, I'm sorry, 8x is, I told you, negative 5x. Here the 8x is cancel. 5 minus 4 in most countries is 1. But to finish solving for x, we need to divide by negative 5. Since negative 5 is negative, we have to flip the sign of the inequality. So set builder, the set of all x such that x is less than negative one fifth. Number line, put negative one fifth on the number line. What direction are we gonna shade in? I actually can't hear you, but that's okay. We're gonna shade to the left, because we want less than negative one fifth. But since there's no equal sign on the inequality, we use a parenthesis or an open circle. And again, left to right, it goes all the way to the left, so negative infinity. It goes up to very close to negative one-fifth without touching it, parenthesis. Great. Try some more. For part C here, notice we have fractions. We're going to get rid of the fractions by multiplying by the LCD. The LCD is 14. So we're going to multiply every term by 14. Notice there are three terms. You have the one fraction on the left, and you have the two terms on the right, the 2 and the x divided by 2. So don't forget that 2 here. A lot of students ignore it because it doesn't have a fraction. You can't do that. You have to multiply that as well. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So it's like you distributed that 14 through the right-hand side. Now be careful when you cancel. The 14 times this fraction, the 14 and the 7 reduce down to a 2. So in that denominator, there's a 1. We just don't write it anymore. But since there's two terms in the numerator, you have to distribute that 2 through. So for right now, I'm just going to use parentheses. If you want to put that through now, that's totally fine. Since we multiplied by 14, which is positive, we don't change the order of the uh, inequality. 14 times 2 is 28. And the 14 and the 2 here reduce down to 7. But that is 7 times x, so minus 7x. OK. Distribute this 2 through. And now this is like part B. 
we're going to add 7x to bring the variable to the left. We're going to subtract 10 to bring the constant to the right. Adding 7x, we get 3x now. Subtracting 10, we get 18 positive. Dividing by 3, which is positive, no sign change, we get x to be greater than 6. So set builder, x such that x is greater than 6. Graph, put 6 on the number line. We're going to shade to the right this time because it's greater than 6. Since there's no equal sign, parentheses. And how far left does that go? It goes close to 6 without touching it. How far right does it go? It goes up to infinity, also without touching it. Great. One more of this type to go. Oh, we're going orange. All right. We're going to distribute the negative 2 and the negative 7 through first. We'll get negative 8x minus 10. It's less than or equal to negative 7x minus 7. Variable on the left, constant on the right. So we're going to add 7x. Add 10. We get negative x less than or equal to 3. Since that is a negative 1 there times the x, we need to multiply or divide your choice both sides by negative 1 because we want positive 1x, not negative 1x. Well, by doing that to the negative, um, uh, I'm sorry, dividing by negative, we have to, hopefully you said it, Again, I can't hear you. Switch the sign of the inequality. So, set builder. Graph. We're going to put negative 3 on the graph. What way are we shading? Hopefully, you said to the right. From left to right, the smallest number in there is negative 3. Oh, I forgot to put a bracket there. Ah, save the day. The biggest number is infinities.